Hi, this is OS Tips from OS Training, and I'm Robbie Adair. Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, which is two-factor authentication inside of Joomla websites. So we know that over 80% of website breaches come through password. So how can we avoid this on our own Joomla website? Well, we can turn on two-factor authentication. And what that means is we'll have a username, a password, and then our user is going to need to put in a randomly generated code from something that is on them physically. Joomla offers two ways to do this, which is Google Authenticator running on a mobile device, or UB keys that are plugged into a USB port on your Mac or PC. USB keys, UB keys come in different shapes and sizes. These are examples. This one has USB here, and you'll touch the disk on it. Or this one goes into the USB, nice for laptops. You just touch the edge of this. It's, that's all that sticks out. The other way is Google Authenticator, which is an app that runs on your mobile devices, and it's free. This is super easy to set up inside of Joomla. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're looking at the back end of our Joomla website. We're going to go ahead and log in. As you can tell, we do not have two-factor authentication enabled because we would have one more field here for the code. So let's go ahead and get that set up. All right, so this is just a fresh little site that we've installed. So I know that the plugins are not enabled, but it's always best to go check. You'll go to Extensions, Plugins, and then search for the word two. Now you should see both of the two-factor authentication plugins that are, that are shipped with Joomla, which are the YubiKey and the Google Authenticator. We'll go ahead and enable both. Both of these have a setting that allows you to restrict whether you want it to be on front end, back end, or both. We're gonna leave ours on both. Once we've enabled these two plugins, when we go to manage our users, and you open a user, you'll see a new tab called two-factor authentication. We're going to first start with the Google Authenticator. Okay, now that we've selected Google Authenticator, we will open up the app on our phone. You can either type in the key code when you add a new site for the Authenticator, or you can scan the QR code and let the app do the work for you. That is going to give us a security code. Please note that the security codes only last for 30 seconds. So if you're at the end of time, you might want to give it a second to refresh so you have plenty of time to type in your code. After you've typed in your code, you'll go up and save this user. Now that I've saved the user, if you scroll down towards the bottom, you'll see that there's something that's very important, and that is that you've got some one-time emergency passwords just in case Maybe you lose the mobile device that had Google Authenticator on it or something else has happened to your device and you do not have your Google Authenticator. You can use these codes, so I would suggest highly copying and pasting and putting them somewhere else, possibly even printing them out. Each code is only good for one use. Let's save and close this user and I'm going to log out. So now you'll see we have three fields, username, our password, and now we have a secret key. So we can, with the secret key, now look inside of our Google Authenticator and we can get the code, type it in, and log in again. If we do not have that code, let's log back out, and let's just say I try to log in with my login and password, it is going to deny it. Okay, now let's take a look at how do we set this up with a UV key. Very similar, let's go and manage that user again, and we're gonna switch this user to now have a YubiKey. What you'll wanna do is plug the YubiKey in. Once you plug the YubiKey in, place your cursor inside of the security code and touch the YubiKey. Once you touch the YubiKey, you'll see the code, the randomly generated code is inserted in here. It's always different. It may look very similar, but it's always different. So now, once we put the security code in, remember, just like we did with the Google Authenticator, we'll wanna keep a hold of these emergency codes, and then let's save this. Now, what we can do is log back out, 
And let's test this one more time. Now, when I place my cursor in the secret key, I just simply touch the UB key. It will not only enter in the code, but it presses enter for you, so you don't have to click the login button. Okay, so that was it. Pretty easy, right? Enable your plugins and then go to the user, go to the tab and set which way they're going to have to log in with their two-factor authentication, whether it be YubiKey or whether it's Google Authenticator. You take your pick. And some users may use one and some another. Whatever works best for your website and your users. So we appreciate you listening in and don't forget to subscribe because we'll have more OS tips coming your way. This is OS Training and I'm Robbie Aguirre.